going into the next season, uh, any advice, of course, as another dead man veteran? Don't team up with Rexy. He'll freeze you. And you'll die. Now, you guys know that one of my best times in Deadman Mode is when I'm PKing. It's the thing that I enjoy the most about Deadman Mode. Of course, it's a game which is based on PvP, so everybody playing realistically should be a big PvPer. Anyways, there was a little bit of an issue this tournament, because obviously there were two different final destinations for everybody, and you were given at random in your chat box where your final destination was to be. Unfortunately for me, mine was in Anacril, which for those of you that don't know is GD's up in the deep wilderness, meaning that the very last bank I was going to come across was basically Varog Bank, so I really couldn't do much PKing other than what you've already seen, sadly. Overall, I do have to say, I think this tourney has hands down been the best tournament so far. Now, the reason why I say that is because I really, really love the concept and idea that Jagex came up with for the remaining 128 players, I believe it was, where basically, if you were in the top 128 players left alive, you would stop fighting and you would be teleported away to a single way combat place where you would 1v1 at random one of the other opponents that are still alive. Now, obviously, that speaks for itself. That is a lot better than what they've had in the past when it comes to just being completely multi-area, where effectively it's the clans that run things. Although, granted... Obviously, there is still a little bit of an issue, in my opinion, when it comes to Deadman Mode, when it comes to the tournament, being the fact that the final areas are in multi, I don't know if there's really anything that they can do about that. But if it was down to me and I could change anything about Deadman Mode tournament, it would definitely be the final areas being in multi. I understand why it's done. It's to try and force people to fight each other. If a single way, it's less likely to happen. We were messing around in this clip. Like, we were getting greedy. It was for the stream. It was for the lols. Me, sick nerd, and courage is but the truth of it is is that you know my account had over a hundred hours put into it i know that adam sicknerds did as well we just got rag bolted by a bunch of guys that were probably around about level 80 combat who've been playing like five hours a day so for me personally i feel like if they really want to take dead Mambo tournament to the next level in terms of being competitive i really do think that the final areas need to be much more full out and give the people who have actually been slaving away the whole week to get their stats a better chance of actually winning or getting to the finals because the way that it currently is it doesn't matter how high combat your account is or how many hours you've put into it clans will come out on top every single time so long as the final areas are in multi and i know that's probably a very unpopular opinion especially for the clans because they make a lot of money off of doing this but let's be honest for a second what would you guys rather see would you rather see somebody that has grinded their ass off the entire week has absolutely insane stats and put in a final area where they can actually be able to do something with those stats or the way that it currently is where it doesn't matter how many hours you've put into your account when you get to that final area, there's going to be about 10 raggers there with emerald bolts and diamond bolts, and they're going to fuck you up. Personally, it's a no-brainer for me. Obviously, it sounds way more professional, way more appealing to see some very high-tier competitive plays compared to what we currently have. Now, I know that that's an unpopular opinion for two reasons, one being the fact that clans aren't going to like me saying that, and the second one being the fact that most people do not have the time to be able to play 16 hours a day, which I understand, guys. I've worked full-time jobs my entire life, and I know exactly the struggle of that, but that is why tournament is competitive this is one of the first things in runescape's history that can be seen as as a competitive game mode for runescape this has never been done before so what i'm getting at is that the tournament is supposed to be competitive it is supposed to be the high tier players who want to compete that should be the ones competing Deadman Mode Seasonal has absolutely been catered towards people that can only play a certain amount of hours every day. They have like 500k XP caps per day, which takes like one or two hours to hit. If you're interested in playing Deadman Mode, but you don't have the hours to play in the tournament, Seasonal is your go-to, which I personally think is the exact way Deadman Mode should be. There should be a casual version of it, which is the Seasonal, which you can just play for fun and make money off of. And then there's also the very competitive aspect of it, which is the tournament tournament which is where the players the high-end players the people that can play and take a week off of work 
are the people that are going to reign dominant that week. Obviously, that's just my opinion on the matter. I would love to hear your feedback. I just personally feel like it's always so disappointing getting to the final hour and watching it, and it just be clans that are dominating. Like, to me, personally, I don't enjoy watching that. That's my opinion, but I would love to hear yours. So if you guys have any feedback or any reasons you want Demamo to change or stay the same, let me know down in the comments, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you very soon. <gasps> oh, dude! I just froze sick. I just... Oh, no. Mate, no! <laughs> Oh man, it got deleted, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, oh, sick load, I froze you and naughty, mate. I'm so sorry. <laughs>